Well, somebody was asking me how I did this, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to play this in slow motion so that we can see the transformation or the morph. And it's very slow, so just give it some time because we want to see how the morph goes from a man to a woman. This is all done in iClone 7.2. And I'm going to show you how to do this effect. Besides this, we're going to also do the effect of changing clothes. Uh, somebody was asking me that before. I, the person was asking me for a tutorial, but <laughs> one is something a little bit more complicated than this. So I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, this tutorial is only for iPhone 7.2 or higher and Character Creator version 2 or higher. And I'm going to show you how to morph a character and how to dress or change the clothing of that character. In this case, you're seeing this character. This is target B, the character we want to morph into. And I'm going to show you target A. Just, just going to press the stop button. And there's target A. I'm going to run the animation. And it's going to morph, you see, immediately into that target. I'm going to show you how to do this. Well, the first thing, you need your target A character, you need to have your other characters. Uh, in this case, that's why I said this set tutorial is for Icon and Icon 7.2 or higher and Character Creator uh, version 2 or higher. And I created this character. Somebody was asking me there's a way to uh, change clothing. Yes, there's a way in Character Creator because you have a uh, hierarchy. So you have like a tank top, which is uh, item 1. And then you have a shirt, which is item two. And then you have probably a coat or a blazer, which is target three, etc. So you have a hierarchy. And when you have a hierarchy, you can hide the other items underneath the clothing that's on top of that. And so you're going to dress up your characters exactly the same. And make sure for a rule, a rule of thumbs, is that when you are uh, trying to morph a character, make sure they share the same height not exactly the same body anatomy because it's a lady, the other one is a man, okay? And uh, not exactly the same kind of, of skin because this is a lizard woman, the other one is a human. So you create your character, you save it, you save your eye avatar, save your, the project so that you need to modify it later on when you're working. And uh, your target A, you dress it up as the way you want it, okay? You need to display all the items that he's wearing. The only way you can hide the items is when you go to the material section in right here. And one of the things you need to do is you need to save the maps, the texture maps for target B, whether it's for the skin, even if you want to change the kind of color of the clothing and things like that, you need to save those maps or have some JPEGs, you know, or any other image, you know, that you want to put on top of that. And what you're going to be using is the blend channel, the blend slot, and you're going to be using the strength on that slot, and you're going to be using also the opacity, depending on what you're using at the time. So for the first frame, you have to be in frame one. Make sure that you select the body of the character. You go all the way down. As you can see, I already added the other map we're going to morph into for target B, which is the lizard woman. So I already have that added here. Uh, you double click on that. It's going to open up. Make sure you have the map on whatever is opening up. In this case, in this case is a blend folder. So it's on, on the blend folder. I select the map. And on frame one, what you're going to do, and this is usually the way I do it, uh, you lower the strength all the way down and then all the way up and for the other one you do the same all the way up and all the way down so that you can hide it you see it's changing right there on the, on the screen and you're going to do exactly the same for the map of the eyes and the only one, the only one that you need to change because you have the eye and you have the cornea but you need to change the cornea, okay, of the eye. Not the eye, don't worry about that, just the cornea, okay? And as you can see, I have uh, the map for the lizard woman or the lizard. And uh, you do the same for frame one. You're gonna bring it all the way down the strength and then all the way up. 
and then for that you're gonna bring it up and down if it's up just bring it down doesn't really matter just for you to have a keyframe uh, being uh, f placed on the timeline so we're gonna open up the timeline right here and I have a keyframe right there okay so you're gonna go and move on the timeline to whatever number you want uh, or frame you want in this case I chose frame 50 and you're going to do exactly the same you did before for all the maps okay for the clothing is the same the clothing you're going to be hiding on the first frame you're going to be hiding the clothing that you don't want to show and you're going to create on this on this frame where you are putting the maps you're going to make all all of them appear and disappear as well uh, so that the next frame over you appear whatever you want to appear in regards to the clothing and make invisible the ones that you don't want you want to hide the ones but in this case you won't be using the strength slider you're going to be using the opacity slider for the clothing okay because the opacity is going to hide the entire clothing as in in regards to the strength the strength is pretty much going to uh give it more strength <laughs> to the color you know of uh, whatever map you have okay this is a mesh this is a mesh the clothing is a mesh it's not a map it's not a texture map it's a mesh so you want to hide the mesh and that's why you need the opacity okay uh what else for the cornea okay the cornea what i wanted to mention here for the cornea is that once you make this all the way all, all the way up for the lizard okay which is right here let me show you okay for the lizard woman, if I go right here, you see the strength of that map, that particular map for the lizard woman, it's at zero. But for the human, it's at 100%. You see, 100%. I have the slot of the human eye, and it's at 100%. The lizard woman, it's at zero. Okay? But on the next uh, keyframe over, it's going to be the opposite. This one is going to go to 100% and the other one is going to go to a zero right here. All right, now one thing to mention, and this is very important because you see the eyes are very, um, very well colored or in regards to definition. And uh, it's not going to show like that if you don't press this. Um, let me see, this one right here you have to select because if you don't select it you see it's kind of faded you don't want that to look like that so you make sure you press this one that use RGB okay and once you do that then it's gonna be more um, not noticeable okay more intense well that's uh, pretty much everything that you need to do you're going to be doing the same for every morph uh, on the timeline you can add as many as you want and i'm going to show you how you're going to be adding that sorry i didn't go through that because i wanted to go through all the maps first and and uh, all the clothing how to show it how to hide it and things like that okay we'll go to the second icon which is the animation icon you're going to go all the way down and you're going to find two buttons okay the first one is a morph creator and you're going to press that and it's going to be opening up the menu or the screen i should say for the morph creator and you have the second one which is the morph animator that's where you're going to be animating your characters um, in regards to the morph uh, i'm going to put cancel because i already have the character loaded and that's what's going to show it's going to show the target a character and the screen on the right panel is going to look exactly the same as the screen on the left panel in regards to the space right here at the bottom it's gray it's going to be a gray area too so uh you are seeing sliders right here because i already added characters so to add a character you need to press the plus button it's going to open up um, your window you have to search for whatever your avatars are saved and then you're going to be choosing the avatar and you're going to be adding open and it's going to load the avatar and once it loads the avatar and if you have like different kinds of clothing and if they don't share the same anatomy you're going to have this, the sliders for that so that the clothing uh, conforms to the kind of anatomy of the avatar like the lizard woman right 
So you're going to have uh, each slider for this is like the body, you see, base body. So that's going to morph the body and the, um, um, the face, okay? It's the body and the face at the same time. Uh, it's the entire body, okay? But <laughs> I say the body and the face because when we go to Icon, we have like two different portions of the body, which is the head and, and the body itself. But this is for the face and, and the body. And then you have other sliders like, this is for the demon, because I added a, a demon, and that's, uh, that's for the teeth. Those are like vampire teeth. Uh, but I'm not gonna be using that, but I could use it as well if I wanted to. Uh, then we have the assessing cloak cape, uh, that's for the clothing. So you have different sliders for the clothing and for the shoes and for whatever other things that are going to be uh, reshaping themselves to the kind of, uh, conf you know, conforming to the shape of the, the avatar, you know, in regards to its body. Well, once you have that done, uh, all the characters that you want to add, then you select this button right here, send it says uh, update morph to iClone. It's the second button. You press that and you see it's sending all the characters to iClone. So I'm going to open up iClone right now. And it's loading the characters. It doesn't really matter right here because I already have him uh, added. So I'm going to wait. And once it's done, what you're going to be doing here is opening up the morph animator which is going to open up the same menu that you saw uh, but it's going to be on a screen on a side screen and uh, you have all the sliders right there and you're going to be doing the same procedure you did for the maps okay you're going to go to, to frame number one okay in frame one you're going to be pretty much just uh, uh, bring up and down whatever character you want to morph. In this case, since I have two characters, I did the same for both. Okay, just in case I want to choose the demon. And then you go to the frame that where you want to start doing all the morphing, which was like frame, uh, let me see, I need to select Peter again, right here. It was this one right here. You create the keyframe. So you're going to be doing the same, you know, bringing all those sliders up and down for every single item right here. And for the second, the, the keyframe over, what you're going to do is just bring whatever character you want to morph into up. Okay, in this case, I'm not going to morph into the demon, but if I wanted to morph into the demon, well, this should be down and then the demon should be up. Okay, let me see. Uh, you see, it's not the same face. This is a demon face. It looks more uh, like a male than a female. But if I do both of them, you see, it's going to be kind of like a weird <laughs> character. Yeah, I, I can do that, okay? That's that's what I can do. But I just want to morph into a lady, okay? To a woman. So that's, uh, that's what you're going to be doing for each and every morph for the clothing of that particular character. It's going to have the name of the character. In this case, you see this male demon and then Lisa... And that's what you're going to have for each single item. Male demon and Lisa. And you see this is the, the hood of the uh, the character. And then you have for the trousers and the coat. But if he had a coat, then I would have another slider for the coat of the demon. The warrior trousers, uh, the demon has one. And the, the Lisa has one as well. I, I could choose to wear the trousers or not by hiding or unhiding the item. And with this, I hope this is more than enough because it, otherwise it's going to be a long tutorial. Is there any way we can morph into more than one character? Like if I wanted a demon and the demon has a red skin instead of a um, green skin? Yes, I can. And that would be for a different tutorial, even to change the kind of eyes and even to animate the eyes if I wanted to. There's a way to do that. Um, I would need to do another tutorial to show you how to do that. I hope... This uh, helps, you know, and if you have any more questions, you, I mean, if I can answer those questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.